um, you have such a variety and depth of diverse interests and ways in which you acquire knowledge and observation and all the rest. What, where do you think we're headed in terms of uh, specialization versus a broad-based, uh, at least a Well, platform? of course, specialization, specialization is the safest way up for most people. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, say surgeons know more and more about less and less. And that's, a, that's what gets rewarded. And if you have a nasty fistula in your colon, you do not want a surgeon who's good at Proust or political science. You know? <laughs> you know? it's, it's, it's understandable how, how right. the world rewards this specialization. <laughs> I never liked it. And I loved picking up new ideas, being a great a passionate reader. And so I decided I'd make whatever living I could make doing what I like to do, which is sort of romping over a whole field. I do not recommend it to other people mm. because the safe way up is to know a hell of a lot about something. And under our system, they find you out. Now, Esri wouldn't have worked very well if you also raked lawns. You know, <laughs> the, you never know. Really, <laughs> I've done my I've done my share of it. Yeah, well, I mean, but if you had everybody out here, wouldn't work working by the hour raking lawns on their spare time, it it wouldn't work very well. And I think I think what Larry's trying to get at is the role of a liberal arts education. What is your thoughts about that? Well, it's in it's a, it's an enormous advantage. Of course, if you learn your own language. That's a very useful gift. And of course, learning the basic math of life is another tremendous gift. And if you're really good at picking up language and doing just basic arithmetic, <laughs> you can take enormous territory. You don't need much else. Mm -hmm. uh, I have never looked at a calculus problem since I left Caltech. Mm -hmm. Never left it. Never looked once, never used it. And I was a whiz. Mm -hmm. By the way, I went away totally. <laughs> Seventy some years, that was enough. Yeah, I, I don't know about your calculus, but mine is <laughs> mine was is gone. <laughs> and and so but this other stuff never goes away. And if you keep honing it and if you get good at it, then you learn something that's more important than what they teach you in college is you learn the method of learning. When I want to know something, I just learn it. And take, for instance, I got to the Harvard Law School. And I couldn't figure out our Reverend Moon was inviting people out to one weekend and they came back brainwashed zombies for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. And I just, and nobody in the Harvard Law School could explain it to me. So I said, I'll figure it out for myself. You know, I, my mother had a little nursery rhyme, a little head, red hen that said, I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. So I said, I'll figure this out. Well, it took me a long time. But I finally figured out to my satisfaction exactly what, what was being done. They were just, and they just stumbled into this through practice evolution. It wasn't calculated forethought. They just assembled a bunch of psychological tricks and pounded them on these people all at once uh -huh. under conditions involving stress. And at a certain point, the brain would just snap. And they had these people transformed into slaves. And boom. Well, that was a very interesting thing. But of course, nobody wants to talk about it because it has implications, people fear. But, but I think that the that habit of, of, if they won't explain it to you, figure it out for yourself, mm -hmm. has helped me enormously in life. It's also hurt me because you give terrible offense when you go into somebody else's profession and act like you know more than he does. Right. 